Hey, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2010 DreamWorks animated short Donkey's Christmas Spectacular. Donkey's Caroling Christmas Spectacular. Oh, there's different versions of the names. Donkey's Caroling Christmas Spectacular and Donkey's Christmas Shrektacular. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I only referenced that because I, I am watching it currently on my Nine Holiday DreamWorks Specials Blu-ray. And it says here, Donkey's Caroling Christmas Spectacular, but I'm pretty sure on IMDb it says Donkey's Christmas Shrektacular. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. So, 10 minutes, very quick. Came out in 2010 alongside the Yule Log, um, which is also the same year that Shrek Forever After premiered. And so, this is right afterwards. We have Rumpel getting a stocking full of coal, for some reason, he's at the Christmas party as well. And then, uh, this is this is the same Christmas party as the Yule Log, I have decided. I have made it canon, it is now official. So, they're all singing different songs, um, having a sing-off, if you will. Very much so, like how they did a sing-off at Far, Far Away Idol. And so, they're just singing. They're singing their songs, and Puss is singing Feliz Navidad, and everybody else is singing their own stuff, and it's just, it's entertaining. It's, it's cool also having Shrek's family his ogre family who they rediscovered you know within the the last film um getting other parts so shrek's family is within the yule log shrek's family is within this uh his christmas caroling sing-along donkey's christmas shrektacular however you want to call it because it's got two different names for some reason it's just fun having these characters continuously party and it's fun having these characters continuously enjoy each other's company, get annoyed with each other, but then make up and have a grand old Christmas time at the end. It's 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 cute. It's fun. It's quick. It's only 10 minutes, which means it's really nine minutes because then there's, you know, credits afterwards. It's also nice having the same voice actors come back and do the same projects. I think Eddie Murphy did the voice of Donkey for everything except for one thing. I think it was like Scared Shrekless. I don't think he did the voice for Scared Shrekless. Or was it Thriller Night? One of those. One of the Halloween things he didn't do the voice, but everybody else does their voice for most of the stuff. I don't think Cameron Diaz does for something, and I don't think Mike Myers does for something. Maybe I should retract that statement. It's nice seeing the voice character, the original voice characters doing this. Um, it's just cute. It's a cute Christmassy film. It's a short film. It's nine minutes. That's it. There's nothing deep about it. It's just you'll watch it, you laugh, you sing along, you have your fancy friends doing the you have your fancy fake friends a la dreamworks characters doing their stuff i also like that plastic was introduced in this donkey's has a new uh plastic santa claus uh like a blow mold santa claus and he says to wolf oh you like my new thing it's this magical new creation called plastic and wolf is looking up and he's like it's freaking me out it's just funny because it's this is a this is a timeline piece uh period and plastic was not in that time at that moment and then it was slowly introduced. So it's cool. It's cool seeing all of this. It's neat having these these uh, friends come together and, and sing along. But uh, yeah, nice little cute little musical number. Donkey's Christmas Shrektacular, a.k.a. Donkey's Christmas Caroling. On to the next review. Mahalo.